Hey, what's up everybody? I was going to do a longer video and show you everything that I got since last weekend, but uh, I was making it way too freaking long and too big of a file. And really what I got, man, each thing needs to be in its own vid. I got some really cool stuff. It was going to start from yesterday and then go back to the weekend. Got this a Big Five. And... I don't know if this is new regular price or if it was on sale. Either way, cool. Anyways, what I got was an Umarex Till Storm repeater CO2 BB pistol. Not. <laughs> a little bit big for a pistol. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Very cool looking as far as I'm concerned, and uh, this is just something I added on. I had it on one of my airsoft guns, and it was greatly needed on this one. As in, it gets a little bit shaky. Not much, but a little bit shaky trying to hold it steady with one hand. So better off holding it like this than having to hold it like this or whatever. As in, it's got rail on top, a rail on the bottom so you can add on stuff like a red dot side or like that grip or flashlight or whatever. Anyways, so you get right out of the box, no little accessories with it. And uh, what sold me on this is semi-automatic to where you can shoot a BB as fast as you can pull the trigger or flip the switch and you can shoot six shots at a time in six shot bursts and it seems to do it very well. Gave it a little bit of test today couldn't give it much of a long test as in I just wanted to make sure it worked didn't have any problems uh, I'm surrounded by old people old senile people that are paranoid and this thing's pretty damn loud especially when you're doing the six shots at a time it's loud and I didn't want any of these geezers or ninnies calling up thinking that the mafia is coming to get them and have some cops show up at my front door. So, <laughs> bummed out on that, but definitely cool. Very fun to shoot, man. Especially doing just the six shot burst where you can just go. <laughs> very cool. And by the way, that six shot burst shreds the living shit out of freaking cans. And I was shooting full cans of soda, man, and just shredded them. Even better when you shake them up, man. Which, unfortunately, I didn't have much fizz left, but it was enough to where it just annihilated. As in, diet soda not as good for shooting, let alone drinking. So anyways, point out the features here. That is the switch to go from one to six shot. Safety is right there. Just slides up and down, and as you can hear that click sound, it doesn't slide easy, which is pretty good if you got little kids. They may not be able to slide that. You got to push pretty damn hard with your finger. So, unless you get one that's been taking steroids in preschool or whatever, they may have a hard time with that. And then on putting in the BBs. It's got a 300 BB reservoir to where you slide the front sight back, fill it up there, and then it's got a built-in clip where you slide that towards the front of the barrel, and that holds 30 BBs. And on that six shot burst, six shots at a time as fast as you can pull the trigger, so it'd go through that 30 shots pretty rapidly. And on CO2, man, I didn't test it long enough to see how many shots you can get on one cart. As in, I did one cart, not two. As in, it seems to work, but I don't recommend doing single CO2 on this. As in, I'll show you here. And that's a two-way drop. Press once by the trigger. And it's not dropping now because I don't have CO2 in it, but because it releases some CO2 that will jet out pretty fast and it's just got it so it doesn't 
jet out onto the ground or if you're sitting like I am it doesn't jet out and strike you in the testiculars or whatever and cause damage it's got another button right there at the back of the grip to release it the rest of the way dual cartridge side by side facing up going out one port and uh, I just heard a guy that was doing a video here on YouTube showing how it works. I believe he worked for like a, or owns an air gun type store. And he was just questioning if maybe you can use one cartridge. So I proved that. As in, you can only put in one at a time and then you tighten it up to pierce it. And nothing was coming out the other side. So I figured, what the hell? And it worked. All I can see on that is if you're going to do it, you're better off having the two, especially if you're going to be wanting to do the six shots at a time, which you're going to want to freaking do it. It's just going to go through that single CO2 that much faster. And from what other people were saying, you pretty much get your 300 shots if you have the reservoir full. It's just as usual with CO2, the last shots or whatever are going to be kind of weak, but if you're shooting at a paper target, cool enough. And I say, man, I didn't get to use this much. I wasted some of the CO2 as then I emptied out the rest of it. And just boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Hard to explain the sound it makes, man, but it's like somebody dropping a sheet of plywood on cement behind you. I mean, it's a nice loud thwack for each BB. So if you're... <laughs> in a neighborhood or whatever where you don't have that much room to shoot it like me that may be a problem because my yard's just not that big so it just echoes right into the neighbor's yards but if you have a nice big yard or whatever or just got a place where you can take it to shoot it where it's nice and open man you shouldn't have a problem and uh, on the CO2 here drop it out again There's a little tool they give you in order to tighten them up. This front piece here, where there's two little dots there and no screws, that comes off. And the tool is right in the bottom there. Which, uh, if you lose this, I'm pretty sure you can use like a large Allen wrench. Which, uh, easy enough to drop if you're shooting out in a field and get this thing lost, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same shape as like an Allen wrench. Just get yourself a big set of them. Anyways, show you. Put in a cartridge, it just fits in the bottom of these knobs like a key so you can turn it easier and tighten them up. the thing, cocking levers to the back of it, Just pull it straight out and get that switch there so I can show you. Just above that switch you can see there's kind of a little white dot. There's a hole going all the way through to the other side. You'll see a white dot in there when this thing's been cocked and it's ready to fire. So once you fire it that'll go away and it'll be black and that tells you that it's somewhat safe so you're not going to shoot yourself accidentally if you're messing with it unless you talk it and just like any of the other semi-automatic BB guns you just cock it the one time and then you're ready to go until you run out of BBs or CO2 or whatever and uh, I saw a guy recocking it I cannot remember which video to where he'd flip the switch and then recock it I don't think you have to do that I think it's just one time and then if you want to switch to a single or, or a six shot burst or whatever you can do it just on that one time so anymore and I'm gonna be rambling on and make this video freaking long so I'll show you the box that it came in nice big box but not big enough to where you can't store this in it to keep it nice as in that's what I'm gonna do instead of keeping it out so everything can get dusty as in uh, got this off one of my airsoft guns that's hanging there and damn 
I need to do some freaking cleaning. I hate Arizona, man. Everything's just caked with dust. So, for me, I ain't going to keep this out in the open so it can just get covered in dust and ruin it. So, that's the end of this video. I'm giving this a thumbs up. Even though I didn't give it a very big test down, but <laughs> the test was fun. So, thumbs up so far. I have no idea how long one of these things will last if you're going to keep shooting it all the time. But for me, <laughs> obviously, man, it'll last me years and years because I'm not going to get to shoot it very often, which is a bummer. <laughs> Damn old people. <laughs> That's, that's my lot in life, to be surrounded by geezers and ninnies, so, whatever. At least now, according to Ross, I became one of them, as in, I turned 42, went to Ross, got some Levi's. Are you 55? Uh, I feel like it. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Here's a discount, so, according to them, man, I'm 55, so, yeah. I've got an evil twin somewhere that's 42, and then the, the nice one's 55, or vice versa, or whatever. Who gives a shit, man? It's Ross, they're idiots, so whatever. <laughs> as long as I can get my discount, man. Next stop, Denny's, to see if I can get my senior discount there. Or maybe I'll just go to the senior center and get to eat for free. I don't know, but whatever. Later.